as two things. Uh, one, like 20 episodes ago. Have we even had 20 episodes? Nah. I don't know. I don't know how many episodes ago. But 13. I, <laughs> I promised the trip to DC and we still have not delivered on it. Oh, yeah. That's a good idea. <laughs> we should do that. Um. It's 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 quickly becoming the noodle incident, and <laughs> I still don't even know what the noodle incident is. Uh, nobody knows what the noodle incident is. Oh. That's 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 the point. Oh. Okay. But anyway, so it's coming. But I actually have a special request for this one right now. Mm -hmm. And before I get started on that, I'm just going to point out that I just found these like like as we were setting up. These uh, you can't see them too well. These are. Uh, these are my so some of my notes, particularly like the 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 battle notes for that Thieves World campaign oh. that I'm still bitter about. You know, yeah, I got like some like magic items here that they had gotten that they were supposed to figure out like the the cool uses of them. They never did. And like right here, um, I even have like some some. You can probably can't read these. Can you, those showing up. Not, not really. No. Those were some inspiration notes that I wrote to myself as they were telling me they didn't want to write the game. Write the game. Play the game! They you know, want to play the game. You're asking us to make a new rule book for it. I can yeah. see why they rage quit. I yeah. don't remember that. So. Yeah. As, they, as they were rage quitting, I was writing these to myself, and um, they didn't help. This is this just keeps... Oh, this keeps going. Ooh, this keeps... You know, for a game where they were supposed to not get in a lot of fights, that's certainly a lot of combats they went through right here. Anyway, I'm rambling again. So, um... This is actually a good illustration of why the trip to DC took so long for us to roleplay. Because other ones kept coming <laughs> up. <laughs> I have my own thoughts on that. We'll get to that. Still better! Um, so, um, as I mentioned in my, uh, Pokemons episode, um, that, uh, I had a, uh, a great campaign that fully, fully fits the mold of steal from one person, it's theft, steal from everybody, it's research. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to give you the breakdown of that campaign. Now, we're still technically doing this campaign, but no one in my group are probably not going to get back to it. And if it is, it's probably going to be sometime next year. So here was the setup for that campaign. Now, try to follow along with me here. And bonus points if you can figure out everything. Um, the, uh, the, 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 the general, the backstory of the campaign was um, the, 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 the Empire under the direction of the childlike empress, was sad because there was one part of her region known as Hell Th Hell's Throat. Called so because it was a small canyon where all, all sorts of foul, horrible creatures would come spewing out of it for, 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 for every now and then. And that could not happen in her empire. So she raised an army, a good sizable army of about 10,000 soldiers, and marched them in there. Just marched them in there, and anything, anything and everything that wasn't human was, was just, was, was, well, human or, 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 or good demi-human, was immediately put to the sword and, and, and driven back to, to, to the far reaches. Where then a large army of 50,000 strong came back at her. Just this massive horde of orcs, trolls, ogres, and undead just rose up and attacked her. There's even some elves in there too. Of course they had been corrupted by evil magic, but... You know, you know. I'm getting flashbacks to something. I'm not sure what it is. Me either. Mm -hmm. And 50,000 strong, you know. Well, 50,000 plus troopers, so... <laughs> 10,000 versus 50,000. I mean, do the math on that one. So, the childlike empress fled. Fled in terror. Fled as fast as she could. Didn't even spare... Didn't even care how many of her troops fled with her. She fell... Fled back beyond Hell's Throat, where she had her mages erect a 300-foot wall to make sure nothing could get past it. Mm. And stationed a small detachment of soldiers there to guard this wall. To... Watch this wall, if you will. You know, in the day and mostly the night, because you know, a lot of those creatures in the horde have dark vision and they, they like they, they like to be active at night. You know, so they would like you know watch this wall at night. 
And the campaign was just, yeah, that's nice, but the players were, you know, unfortunately on the wrong side of the wall. So there they were in this evil, evil den of uh, horrible, horrible orcs, just orcs everywhere. Orcs with oddly specific Cockney accents. Yeah. Hey, what are you on about? Yeah. Oh, oh, worse than that. It was it was me doing the Cockney accents. Oh, that's, that's... yeah. And it was yeah. I mean it and 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 they they had to 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 basically defend themselves and basically the the idea was is they were supposed to to forge a city. The one city that was still standing. Don't know how a army of well a horde if you will of fifty thousand orcs, trolls, ogres, and undead missed a city, but. Shut up, they did. Kind of got a little weird, though, when they encountered the Orcish tribe that was mainly composed of druids. For some reason, they thought to themselves, hey, let's, uh, we're, we're, we're being, you know, stalked by these wolves that are oddly intelligent. Let's see if we can tame them by throwing food at them. All of, like, the, 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 the Orcish, like, lieutenants and, and, and chieftains and all that. I actually came up with names for every one of them. I mean, you got names like Borgath the Hellhawk, Orgath the Crafty, Shaka the Bloodstorm. Shaka Bloodstorm! <laughs> Shaka Bloodstorm. <laughs> Grom the Unkillable. Grom the Unkillable was a good one. He was actually a character that I played in a campaign. It was a troll who basically... He basically got the hammer of Thor. He was worthy. He is worthy. Yeah. And ultimately, I mean, it didn't stop there, too. I actually had some, some creative names because, um, in keeping with tradition, I actually had this character who, they were kind of like dour and glower and being all, uh, all super serious about this. And I kind of wanted to lighten the mood. So I introduced Little Skittles. The gnome. A gnome arcane trickster named Little Skittles. Because Little Skittles is making it rainbow. That was her thing. She just she just made rainbows. You know, Little Skittles is making it rainbow with a rainbow between her hands. If you could if you could do that in post, that'd be awesome. If not, I'm just gonna look like an asshole. Um but yeah. And it was it, it was always funny because Little Skittles, um there was a running gag with Little Skittles. Because they never remembered that Little Skittles was part of the party. Now, the only times they did was when, when I, I would bring in a guest person to play Little Skittles, because normally I would run Little Skittles. So it would be a situation where they'd sit there like, okay, let's count, out, count heads. One, two, three, four, five. All right, we're all here. Joke, of course, being that she's a gnome. She's, you know, out of the line of sight. Out of sight, out of mind. And they kind of, you know, they, and they, they, I mean, they, 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 they got pretty far in this campaign. Sadly, they never got to the big evil tower, the big evil black obsidian fortress of doom, complete with lava flows. It started off, and, and the, the, the entrance to this massive, like, forge castle type thing was, was uh, guarded by uh, Nephra, who bars the way. And, and eventually they would have gotten into the depths of the forge, where they, where they would have fight Grobthok, who feeds the forge. And this ultimately would have culminated in them fighting what I like to call a Dreadmaster. Not subtle at all. I don't get it. <laughs> they, I mean, they, they're actually pretty good. I mean, they, 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 they actually, you know, managed to um, finagle some goblins into an alliance. They actually managed to finagle some orcs into an alliance. Douche the dumb. <laughs> Douche the dumb. <laughs> One of them got it in his head that, oh, I'm going to use this warlock spell. I can't remember the spell, but I was like, they, they can speak into your head and was going to try to, to, you know, like convince everyone to stop fighting and join me because, you know, they're going to hear it in their head and they're going to think it's from their commanders. So I brought in Douche the dumb. 
Guy was rock stupid. Like, rock stupid. Like, so, he would try his little thing, and he'd be like, Ah! Voices in my head! And then he would get angry and attack them harder. I, I got this two-sided map. The hex is on one side, squares on the other. Squares, obviously, for combat, but the hex is, I actually had this, like, huge map filled out. Like, wh what territory they controlled. What territory that the gang bosses that they controlled were in. And they would kind of, you know, they'd go along this map, and they basically, you know, they were... They were forging their own empire, basically. Well, kingdom, I guess. I was trying to hint that they could, you know, make peace with some of these orc tribes. Which is why the sentient wolves didn't attack them. Well, at least not until after they tried to tame them. At that point, they got pissed off and attacked them. It was actually a pretty good fight. You know, the wolves were doing this thing where they were, like, doing guerrilla tactics, coming out, of the, coming out of the walls and hitting them hard. Grass, not walls. And just, yeah, like, they just kind of, like, come out of the wall, hit them, run away, and... They had to figure out how to take care of that. Honestly, this was kind of one of my best campaigns out there. It just goes to show you that. You know, if you, inspiration comes from all places, and if you want to do something, I mean, go ahead. Give it a try. I mean, if it sucks, well, it sucks. Sometimes. Sometimes. Turns out good. I feel like I'm ranting at this point in time, but um, I'm going to keep ranting. Rant, rant, rant. Because they had to watch the wall at night. No copyright. No, no copyright whatsoever. Because you know, it's it's this this wall was made of metal. Also, in, in case I forgot that, you know, because we put a mohawk and put it, give it a mohawk and put it in a wheelchair. It's 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 completely different. I joke, but that was actually something I I had actually planned on doing at some point in time. I immediately threw that out. Reading a book, playing a video game, watching a movie. Think to yourself, how can I turn this into a campaign? And then do the best you can to turn it into that campaign. And then tell me about it. I want to hear about campaigns like that. Because I love campaigns like that. It's nonsensical, nonsensical campaigns that just go on and on and on. And it's just... Baller. Baller. And hopefully at some point we can get this trip to DC out of the way because... It's taking us almost as long to get that story out there as it did for us to play it. Poetic, I think. <laughs> um, so, uh, <laughs> uh, how to end this? Thank you so much for watching this episode, and if you liked it, punch that like button in the face like a boss! And... High fives all around! Whoosh! Whoosh! Thank you guys! I'll see you all in the next video! Oh god. How does he do that every episode? I don't know. How does he do that every episode? My god, man. It's like midnight and he just screamed. Yeah, we're in a basement. Yeah, that should be fine. <laughs> ears are ringing. Holy crap. I'm probably gonna go out there and get like <laughs> angry messages from everybody. Like, <laughs> <laughs> God. What's happening down there? Death.